In the realm of student activism, unconventional conduct often sparks widespread social concern, particularly when it pertains to protests against the presence of certain garments deemed controversial, such as furs. Thank you. This is Strudel, a member of the furry fandom. Though they've been a furry for over a decade, they have their own opinions. It's crazy that it's escalated to this point where these kids are being so distracting to their peers that their peers want to stage a walkout. So to have, you know, the next generation kind of muddy our name and um, not represent it very well, it is kind of disappointing. Strudel believes there should be some limits. Continue doing things you like, continue dressing up, um, continue making art, but... Maybe let's keep it outside of school hours. As for the school, Sorensen says they have one main goal. We want every student to feel safe when they come to school. And we want students to get along. In fact, we want adults to get along. Okay, so the district says they've worked with some students whose dress and appearance they say might be disruptive to the school environment. This phenomenon also reflects a deeper cultural clash between traditional societal norms and the emergence of alternative subcultures. The act of protesting serves as a visible manifestation of tensions surrounding community standards and the delineation of acceptable behavior. Upholding order and discipline within educational institutions remains paramount. Advocates emphasize the need to prioritize the safety and cohesion of school environments, contending that addressing disruptive conduct is essential for fostering a conducive learning atmosphere for all students. Therefore, Establishing clear guidelines and boundaries is imperative to uphold order and discipline effectively.